What's up guys, Random Razor here with a little quick classic review video for you guys today. And I do apologize that I'm moving around a little bit with the camera, but as you guys can see here, I'm recording the normal camera I've been using for the past few months now, and that is on my Nikon. And uh, today's video is going to be on the Manfrotto 290 series tripod here. This is just going to be a little quick classic review video. Classic meaning it's not going to be, you know, too crazy edited to impress you guys, but uh, it's just, you know, it's nothing too special. But I do want to share with you guys the uh, tripod here that has been uh, making my recent videos more stabilized and a little bit more enjoy uh, enjoyable, hopefully, for you guys. But anyways, um, as I mentioned, this is the Manfrotto 290, 290 series tripod. Uh, it's also made in Italy, which is pretty awesome. There's a model number there for those of you interested. Yeah, well, 290 is model number. And on the top here, we also have the, uh, this is the tripod head, and that's the model number there, if I can get a good shot at it. There we go. Nope. You know what? Ah, I give up. All right, you know, if for those of you interested in the head, just comment down below, and I'll just, you know, comment or type you guys the uh, model number on that. But anyway, so uh, this particular head here is a three-way head. And um, it can, uh, I'll just show you guys. It's kind of hard to record this with the iPad. This is pretty ridiculous. But anyways, uh, you can turn it from side to side, or pan, I mean. You can uh, turn it up and down, of course. And the uh, three ways, so the other one is you just twist this little lever on the back here. You can also set the camera in a portrait mode, and hopefully my camera won't fall. There we go, see? You can also uh, set in the portrait mode, hence the why it's called a three-way head. Uh, three-way head, at least this particular one, it's more, I call it, it's more of a hybrid head, so it's great for a video, it's great for a photo. And um, if you want one solely for a video, I definitely recommend the uh, fluid heads. They're a lot more, um, they have longer handles, and they're just, you know, they're fluid, so it's a lot more smoother if you want to, you know, pan or, you know, move up and down and stuff like that. So that's definitely a great head. Um, there's, another, there's another type of head that I saw online called ball type heads, and those are great for photos. I wouldn't really recommend them for a video since they're pretty, uh, well, this way, I like the three-way ones because it's a lot more stabilized, you know, it, just only, it can only move three ways. With a ball head, it can move any angle, and if you screw up, you can have a video slanted, so that's not going to look nice. So that's why I like this one here, and ball heads are great for photos, and of course, video or fluid heads are great for uh, video. But anyways, um, moving down the tripod here, this is an all, I believe, aluminum construction, some sort of metal. It's an all-metal design for which the only thing that isn't metal are these, um, it's just this uh, section of the clip here. Those those clamps there are metal. This is uh, plastic here though. And uh, Manfrotto is definitely the more uh, premium end brand for uh, tripods. Anyways, this is the uh, three-stage uh, tripod actually. Uh, I only have it in the second stage where you can uh, unhook those two clamps here and it can go even higher. But I think this is uh, high enough for me uh, for what it is. But anyways, uh, so yeah, it's an all-metal construction which is pretty awesome. It's also made in Italy which is also very nice. And uh, ironically, the, um, if you're wondering what that squeaky noise is, my chair is running in back to, into the table there that I'm sitting on. But anyways, the head here is actually, well, it's all metal design, which is pretty nice as well. But it's actually made in China. So when, like, when I took the head off, it's made in China on the bottom. So it's pretty ironic. But uh, it's pretty good quality head for what it is, though. But nonetheless, the main important thing is the tripod here as well. And that's made in Italy. So we're definitely getting a good quality tripod. Um, this I got at Best Buy. Or no, wait, it was Future Shop. But both Best Buy and Future Shop sell this. They're essentially the same company, you just like to screw with us. Um, but um, that's my turtle there for those of you wondering. And uh, yeah, she's just chilling there on top of my shoe. Amazingly, she climbed on there. But anyways, back to the tripod itself. Um, so yeah, it's a three-stage tripod. And um, yeah, oh yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was picking up at Future Shop Best Buy. It retails at Future Shop and Best Buy for $189, which is pretty crazy for a tripod. But um, thankfully... I managed to pick the, pick this thing up for a uh, price match guarantee, of course, for $112, which is a pretty significant price reduction. I did want to spend a little bit extra money on a tripod because I didn't want to buy one in the future. Um, believe it or not, generally tripods that are like under $80, $70 are not really the greatest because they're fairly clumsy and cheap. Um, you know, even though it is pretty expensive for what they are, they're, I, you know, spend the extra money on something decent. Uh, Valbon is a good brand and uh, Metro is definitely taking it up to the next level. But um, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with this tripod. Um, you can also set this in two different angles. You can, well technically you can set this at two, any angle, but uh, there's these little clamps here, and you can set this at two stabilized angles. So the one is you know, like this, and the other one is a more downward angle, so it's great for macro shots or something like that. But um, yeah, unfortunately this doesn't come with a bag or anything, which is a little bit weird for an $189 tripod, but um, I saw this, I, I, I got them to price match B&H for $112, so for those of you in the US, you can get your get it on B&H, and I think that's free shipping. And of course, this is what it looks like, I can just back up here without bumping the table. Uh, this is what it looks like with my camera on. 
Can I back up anymore? Yes, I can. Alright, so there's the bottom of the tripod. There's the top there. So that's what it looks like with the uh, camera on it, which is pretty decent for what it is. And, um, yeah, not much really else to say about this particular tripod, but I definitely recommend Manfrotto um, if you're looking for a uh, new tripod or getting a tripod for your DSLR or uh, even point-and-shoots because I'm pretty sure point-and-shoots have uh, little slots on the bottom there uh, or little screw holes so you can put a tripod on. Um, oh, forgot to mention, this also does have these little um, grips here, which is pretty nice and just gives you more grips. Uh, or more grip when you're carrying around the tripod and um, one thing I do want to show you guys is how this thing comes off but uh, how this thing works in terms of removing your camera there's a little thing here that you push down and that part there is actually attached to the camera do keep in mind though make sure when you have this on that make sure the clamps all the way in because if it isn't you can knock your camera over which I, I almost done so just keep in mind that so just you know yeah just watch that um, not the most, this clamp here is not my most favorite thing because the screw hole that screws into the camera um, you need like a quarter or something like that because there's no uh, space for your fingers to actually twist it yourself which kind of sucks but um, nonetheless I think the uh, rest of the tripod makes up for that load deficiency anyways um, what else, oh we can also set this part here to make this part go up and down and Manfrotto advertises this little um, rubber ring there, I don't know if you guys are going to see that but this little rubber ring here um, so if you unhook this and the thing accidentally falls down, this will cushion the impact so it doesn't wreck your DSLR. But that's one thing that they advertise. And that is pretty much it for this video. So anyways, that's my little unedited classic review of the Manfrotto 290 series tripod. It's a pretty awesome tripod. This is what makes my videos a lot more stabilized. So yeah, this is not my normal video of moving the camera around like this so much. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you all next video. Peace.